right, I'll pop a link in the description for this map. But, so to get to where I parked for this leg of the Palmetto Trail, come in the entrance here, I'll leave a map or a push pin for that. Come around all the way up here, turn left, turn left again, then right. There's a parking lot right before you go into the fish pond area. And then the Palmetto Trail kind of works its way around there and out. And that's back towards 601 that way. But uh, hopefully that helps explain how to get there. So basically all of these green roads are drivable. And then the Palmetto Trail is not on this map yet. But uh, I've got other videos that basically Put in here i put in here drove down or rode down and then back out took the road and then palmetto trail pops into here and does something up in here i don't know exactly where it goes but then you pop out and then hook up on cook's mountain here and then you come out down over here around the like the uh, west side of cook's mountain Kind of loop around and then the palmetto trail continues down this road back towards fish pond and i ran out of battery for the gopro like right up in here somewhere so i basically drove all the way up in here and parked there and then took this leg of the journey of the palmetto trail up over at 601 but hopefully that helps explain how to get there if you follow google maps it will lead you astray Picking back up in uh, Watery Heritage Reserve up by the uh, fish pond area. I thought my GoPro overheated last time, but what it actually was, uh, was the battery's dead. So, got some new batteries on the, uh, on order. And I did a lot of, uh, finding trying to find the palmetto trail so definitely routing or having trouble staying on course so this one right here there was a marker on the side here but then uh, there's another set of markers on that telephone pole over there i ended up going down that way a little bit and getting lost for a few minutes but anyway uh, explore the northern part of this trail and see where it pops out. That's really the piece that I'm interested in right now. Just so I can pop some, uh, some Google Map drop pins where you can pop in on this trail or either on the south side previous video had the uh, the marker for the south side over on 378 and the uh, watery river crossing going towards Sumter but really interested in this single track up here this whole trail system so far has basically just been like a two-lane fire break road or logging management road I guess I don't know I'm not sure the best way to describe it but uh Nice, easy riding. Got a ton of rain over the past couple days and uh, I guess this is high enough where it's not too boggy. At least this section. I wonder if that lower section that I did last time would have been uh, rough. All right, so I marked this on Google Maps last time. I'll drop it in the description again. But uh, so I guess this is where we go single track. I did see a sign back before there 
saying like leaving uh, leaving the park or something oh look at that nice little palmetto trail marker right there all right picked up a nice spider web there at least i can still feel it on me nice little hill climb actually having to use the thumb throttle some Lots of spider webs. This kind of feels like a older established trail. Okay. It's gonna be fun to go back down this on the way back to the truck. Not to do the walk of shame to push the bike up the hill, but I'm in the lowest gear possible and using the thumb throttle. All right, don't see. I'd like to see some Palmetto Trail signage. I do not see it though. Like this right here. Should I be going to the left or should I keep going on this fire break here? See some white blaze. Okay. Where's this? Go on, see where we pop out. I actually saw something down the way. Might have been like a deer or something. But let's keep going. This seems like it's been here for a while. This this trail seems fairly established. It's definitely not fresh. I need to look at the trail markers a little bit closer next time too. The uh, trail markers inside of Watery Heritage Reserve seem like they had just been put up to me. I mean, the nails and everything, the signs, little tags and cells just looked so new, but I don't know how long those things are designed to sit out in the weather. Probably designed for decades of use. So they're probably pretty, pretty tough uh, things, but the nails had like no rust on them. This is some proper uh, single track right here.
guess it's this way. Jeez. Uh, I think that's it down there. quickly a little cross back over this road if not I'm gonna have to go back yeah that looks like it right over there nice deer track through here I'm guessing this is it right here. No, no Palmetto Trail signage there. Where are we at now? Huh. All right, only went two miles so far. Probably start heading back at 7.30, at 7.03 now, but uh, just so I don't go. I'm not riding so far in the dark. All right, more from that trail sign up here. How much actual traffic this trail gets. I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to probably do something about that thing. It's making some lots of lots of creakles. VSIR on that gate. I don't know what that means. D 
deer ripping through here. red clay right there that super slick but now nah, knobby tires are wanting to slide out probably take that road on the way back go as far as I can probably got another 20 minutes then I'll turn around the biggest thing that I wanted to see was where the trail goes from leaving that the, uh, the heritage preserve. I'm say this is the main road here. I don't really see any good places to park and leave your vehicle and ride though. SIB on that gate also must be some type of land management or something so one thing I haven't found yet is a digital trail map that actually shows all the current legs of the Palmetto Trail 
checked far out and maybe I wasn't looking for the right search term, but I searched for uh, Palmetto Trail and didn't see anything. Uh, there's one that has the south part of the trail from coming out of Charleston up to, I think Lake Moultrie. But as far as I can tell, this stuff isn't out there yet. That's why I was like, I'll just pop it on, uh, pop it on YouTube and then put some entry points so that other people can check it out. somebody's maintaining this thing coming through and keeping it trimmed I wonder how often you have to do that is that a multiple times a year kind of a thing or every month I don't know man I think it grows like crazy here in South Carolina seems like it'd be a lot of work Unless there's enough foot traffic to keep everything stomped down, that might help. No trespassing. Okay. So it does say DNR on there. Do see some ripe blackberries, so if we get hungry, we got a snack. Very important. Something up here. It's the main road. I can't tell. Huh? Looks like a main road. Ooh! Big thorn bush hanging out on the trail, waiting to pop tires. Hopefully, my uh, puncture resistant tires did all right there. All right, I'm gonna 
stop and figure out where I am. Northeast landfill. Holy crap, this is, uh, that's Leesburg Road and 601. What? Did not expect that. All right, so this is one entrance of, uh, of the Palmetto Trail. There's a fire department right there on 601. And uh, yeah, right across the street. So 601 and Leesburg. Looks like there's a uh, parking spot right here if you wanted to park looks decent ish to park uh there's a landfill down this way so it's got the smite slight twinges of uh of garbage smell but uh yeah like right here i guess this is the northeast landfill obviously and then uh right on the other side is the leg of the palmetto trail um that's going back towards Fort Jackson. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Did not know where it connected to, but now I know. So I'm probably just gonna run the road back and, uh, you know, all but back that way. I'll uh, update you if I find something else cool. Thing I like about this commuter bike <coughs> is uh, fenders, man. It is so awesome to have fenders that keep you from getting sprayed with dirt and mud. And I mean, you still get a little bit, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty awesome. This is just uh, going towards the landfill, and I guess this is all DNR property to the right. I don't know what it is to the left. I guess I should be looking at the uh, sign is that way too. Wide open though to the left. Somewhere up here, I need to turn to the right. You gotta pull out all trail. It's at least laying down map lines for me so I can see where I'm going. of that bottom bracket isn't uh, too annoying. Probably need to research the tools and parts that I need to order. It's starting to be annoying to me. All right, so this is the left side of the road that looks like it's totally clear cut. I don't see the same signage that I saw on the right side. Oh, foul fell. Oh, I'm not sure if it's owned by the same people or not. All right, there goes the landfill. Closed for the day. And I think this road will take me back to connect up with the trail. At least I hope. up here somewhere not quite sure where uh, I went across this way I was going I was up on this ridge coming so I need to turn left at some point up here hopefully I will not crash 
Oh, no, disregard. Uh, I just keep following this road all the way in. Interesting. Okay. All right, well, I'll follow as long as I can and then jump back on the trail when I need to. The road is just a titch faster. see the Palmetto Trail to the right of me. So it's just right up there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, jump it or don't jump it. Jump it is the answer. Oh, uh, I think I go to the right here. Cause that says posted no trespassing up there. Yep. Sure does. Definitely says post no truck passing, so keep going down here. Yeah, I rode this way on the bike. I got off the trail accidentally. Ooh, that's all. Hmm, it's all the right creakles. That's the trail that way. I'm gonna keep following this road because I haven't seen anything that says that vehicles can't go on this road or foot traffic only. This all looks, ah, well, as soon as I say that, big old gate right there. Looks like I need to go to the left anyways. Ooh, and uh, about crashing. All right, so let's see what this does here, just to see. So that is DNR property watch. All right, so very good. I need to go to the left, get back to the trail. But kind of a cool, I mean, I wonder if you couldn't even camp back here. This looks awesome. That looks wide enough where you can camp. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that spot, in fact. All right, let's go on back. Found a little tiny tick on my arm. Tried to squish it once, didn't squish. And I looked at it a little closer and I was like, oh, that's it, that's a tick. Bad gum it. All right, so this is back on the Palmetto Trail here. five right now and uh man i feel like superman going through this little single track just ripping straight up that hill absolutely awesome
Back in the park here. I think this is the boundary line. I think I saw a sign up here on the right somewhere. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Yeah, right there it says leaving wildlife management area. That's what it said. I guess as long as you're on the uh, Palmetto Trail, you're good. Oh, that was slick. on hey hey how's it going yo <laughs> what's that no uh -uh. no uh -uh. somebody was running through here with a dog uh oh. So I uh I just came that way and it's actually that's back out towards uh 601 in Leesburg. Yeah, I didn't know it was that's how you connected to it. That's pretty cool. So what all's in here? Really? Nice. I'm I'm fishing with bass. The big bass there, man, but anybody you ain't using no boat or nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's remote, man. Well, good luck. I hope y'all catch them all. <laughs> How we going? I guess they said they got big bass in there. Pretty cool. Seeing that this connects up with Leesburg. Doesn't make sense, but I just couldn't imagine how it's done. 
Better idea now. <laughs>